Yo guys, what's up? Bob here. So today we are going to review Zoran Core OS 32-bit. It is a Ubuntu-based distribution. It uses GNOME 2.x. I can't remember the exact version of it, but it looks exactly like Windows. Like Windows 7 exactly. The taskbar, well the GNOME panel, but in this case we'll call it taskbar because it looks like the taskbar. It looks exactly like Windows 7 with the highlight feature on the bottom with the little light and everything. It looks act like it. The start menu looks exactly like Windows with the little picture icon there. The documents home folder, everything is exactly the way it is in Windows. Then it's the GNOME category list thing. That's browse internet email, which is evolution email. Yeah, evolution. Accessories, activity journal, calculator, character map, help, search for files, take screenshot, uh, terminal, text editor, time and date. When you have games, you have Astral, Solitaire, some game I can't pronounce, Minds, Quadral, Pazural, and Sudoku. Internet, you have Chromium, which is not installed, I installed it because the the Chrome they have installed does not launch. Oh, now it wants to launch. Okay, that was weird. I guess I need to install Chromium for it to launch, which is kind of weird. But before it didn't want to launch, so I don't know. But you have Empathy Instant Messenger, which is really I don't like it. I I actually I actually prefer to use Pigeon, but you have Firefox, which I installed myself. You have Giver File Extender. Google Chrome, Gibber, Social Client, Internet Browser Manager, Remote Desktop, Java, and for Office you have Liberal Office Suit with Evolution, Dictionary, and all that. Wine, which is really cool because it comes with Wine, which you all pretty much always install on Ubuntu and Linux, Linux distributions. As Ubuntu Software Center, Places. And it's the same Ubuntu software center on Ubuntu. The same repositories and all that, so. That's system, which is parentheses. And about me, appearance, um, Bluetooth, broadcast accounts, broadcast parentheses, um, compass, settings manager, email, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, look manager, main menu, messaging, monitors, mouse, keyboard, uh, why did I say keyboard? But anyways, network connections, network proxy, passwords and encryption, personal file sharing, power management, remote desktop, screensaver sound, and you have administration, which is DJOM, additional drivers, disk utility, firewall, configuration, gparted, um, the basic stuff that's a GNOME, wireless drivers, which is really neat. Uh, yeah, set system. You have sound and video. Sound and video. Okay, yeah. Banshee, Brazo, Disc Burner, Cheese. Which has, it has open shot, which is really good because, and what is it? Ubuntu 11.10, they are actually thinking about putting open shot in it. In instead of p Pivoty, I believe it's pronounced or whatever because that has no features for anything really places system but yeah it has if I can find it I don't know where it, it is but it has DJ view backup tool yeah there it is DJ real backup tool and Ubuntu twink and DJ real backup tool is a backup tool obviously but this backup tool backs everything up, all your applications and all that. It's really, really quick and it's nice too. Because you can back it up to Amazon S3, Rockspace, FTP, and everything else. And it has Ubuntu Tweak, if I could find it. Okay, Ubuntu Tweak. Which is really neat that they have, they have it pre-installed already. Because if you use Ubuntu, you pretty much always install it anyways because it's that good to have in your computer. To get repositories, sources, edit source manager, everything. 
and it's a lightweight system. They have um, an educational version, a light version, and the core version, which is this one here. Yeah, see, the Chromebook doesn't want to start again. It's really buggy. I noticed that when you use a launcher, but okay. I'll set default. Zoran OS. Go to the new site. Okay. Facts and questions. Yeah, they have two versions. Well, three versions, but it's really, really lightweight distribution for, for the uh, the version I'm reviewing right now, which is the core version. You need a 700 megahertz processor, three gigabytes of hard drive, or hard drive space, and about 400 megabytes of RAM. It's a kind of a weird amount of RAM, though, but you can get it. They have a premium version too, but they have the core, and then the light, and then the educational for educational purposes. Kind of just like Ad Ubuntu. But yeah, check it out. Uh, it's on zoron-os.com. Peace.